Hey, everybody. Um, you know, like it, like it says here. Uh, I'm, I'm Tabitha Sable, and this is Beyond Kubernetes Security. Uh, thank you so much, especially the people that are coming in virtual. Like, I know it's really hard to do yet another virtual con, especially when you're like know that there's there's some people that are here in LA. It is wonderful here in LA, but I'm so, so glad, especially for those of y'all who couldn't make it for showing up here. So let's, let's get started. Um, does this look good? Can everybody? Sweet. All right, cool. So um, to move beyond Kubernetes security, the first thing that we're going to need to do is understand threat morphology. So there's the threats that you already know about. Like, you know about internal threats, you know, like a, like a malicious contractor or a, or, or a disgruntled employee, and external threats like the NSA, the GRU, you know, a bored kid in Ukraine. Oh, oh gosh, what, what, what's going on? I'm, I'm so sorry, you'll bear with me. Uh, you don't know me yet, but by the end of this talk you're presenting right now, we're going to be lifelong friends. I need you to know that the curse, it, it wasn't really a curse, but I'm sorry, this is going to make more sense later. I'm going to be broadcasting you some things. I'm sorry, but they might I'm, be slightly out of order. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I, I don't know what's going on. Um, This, thank you, thank you all for, for putting up with this, with this interruption. I'm... Hello? Kuniacki. Dawna nie wacili z... Jak sprawy? Czemu dwie trawa, ale... Prawie tak, no? Teraz. Czy my nie winy? Czas powiertać boli. Czemu dwie trawa, ale... Ja po chwilę otrzymuję z powieścina, że to kto sam hajcja, zlałać mi telefon, domaśnią sygnalizację, elektroniką pocztu. Ja pierwsza, ja pierwsza, że to kamery stali za mną w metro. Ja nie znam, że to wypływa, ja przeprowadzę wszystko, co mogła, do pomocy mnie. Dwa tygodnie, ale wczoraj stało gorsze. Co trafiło z tego dnia, dwa tygodnie temu? Ja nie znam, ja spłaciłam rendu, this talk. Oh come on! I know you work hard. Devra life. Proszę sam. Kimka? I ty prezentowałeś mi coś rewolucyjne. Co? Nie. Ja cię nawet nie znam, że to to była ta ta prezentacja. Ja nie pytaję. Ja tobie kazuję. Ty prezentowałeś coś rewolucyjne. Co? Ja Jak chcesz zachować mój sens? Alan! Wybywają te rzeczy, jakie ty nie rozumiesz. Tak, ale... Ja nie przyszedł tobie nomę. Pogowory z nim. Skaże jej przypiat. Bo to 2 sierpnia 2014. Skaże jej, że to stało się znowu. Ona pojasna. Ty pojadę mi kwiaty? Tak. Tak, mój kwiaty. Uh, hey, um, yeah, th this is Tabitha. I'm, I'm so confused. Ukraine? Oh, oh no. I don't think I'm going to be able to do the presentation. I think we're going to have to deal with this. I just want to call myself from the future, telling me to use this thing to send us whatever you want. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really confused too. But like, I'm supposed to tell you about what happened when I was in Pripyat in in 2013, and like. I'm not actually allowed to talk about that, so this must be really, really serious. Nice try during person, but I've never been to <laughs> Not you! Me! Come back! Oh my god. 
Yeah, whatever. Um, you can't. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to wake myself. Ellen, really, you need to come back. This is, this is so bad. Like, we need to talk. <laughs> Hi, I suppose this is Tabitha. I was told yeah. to talk to you. Apparently, whatever you were doing in 2013, um, I was told it's happening. I was told oh, no. this would uh, make sense to you and that yeah. you would help. So, Tabitha, wherever you are, yeah, what's I'll, going on? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll help. Um, hey, uh, so, yeah, this is, this is really awkward, but when I got out of school back in the 90s, like, it was until just a few years ago when I got started doing cloud native security, I was working on a project that I can't really talk about. It started out as a surveillance system called the Heptagon Network, uh, but we, we expanded it over time and it turned into like a multi-dimensional AI-powered defense system called SkyCloud. Um, with, with the things that have been happening to you, I think I'm afraid you're being targeted by SkyCloud. Okay, wait, I'm, I'm getting all worked up because like some pile of bash scripts doing linear regression called SkyCloud is trying to hack me. Uh, there's okay, a little more Sky than Cloud. that. That's enough for you. Oh, no, 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 you, I mean, you don't know what you're getting into. You need to, you need to slow down. Okay, look, uh, Tabitha, I, I don't know who you are, but, um, I've been doing this for a while. I know what I'm it's doing. So have okay. I, and I'm telling you. Help, uh, if you're not going to help, just get out of the way. Uh, I got this, I... okay? Bye. No, Ellen, please. I'm trying to help, but you're, you're going to need really serious planning, or you're actually just going to get yourself in more trouble. Please, call me back, wherever you are. Hey, Tammy, uh, sorry, I'm doing garbage collection here on the whole, you know, the whole time thing, and let's worst house a favor. Right. Can you forward her, sorry, I mean me, the me you, you were just talking to, not me here, but, you know, that me, uh, forward her the third email you got from Mitsuke in 1998, and, yeah, just forward the email, uh, I'll route it to the right time, and, you know, yeah, the whole thing, but, yeah, just trust me, this it's going to be a lot easier for everyone. Okay, fine, this. Oh, okay. He, 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 here we go. Oh, hisa shiburi desu. Kono aida kyonen deta bafa overflow no kijie o ande itta degasu ka. Kono mae no aken no kodo kanu ni inshite mitara Login page ni onaji wa bug ka arimashita. Oh, oh my god, it's been so long since I had to read Japanese. Um, okay, so like you were reading about buffer overflows and you found one in the login page that we wrote? And you wrote an exploit for the backend code, but the real login page is protected by input validation, so like it's probably okay? Goodness, uh, that, that could save us. I hope that after 25 years it still works. Um, I'm, I'm going to forward you the email now. Um, tell me tell me if you get it. Tabitha, I just got your email. I didn't realize you were going to help me with this. I um, said I'm going to help you. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I think if you run that code from that attachment inside the Haptagon network, I think it'll be able to crash the the like SkyCloud control system and and I think it'll save your life. Oi Jefferson, é, cara é o seguinte, eu me meti numa treta aqui. Eu preciso entrar no servidor e rodar uma parada. Eu não quero nem te contar mais detalhe para não sabe para não te envolver demais. Cara é uma coisa importante. Evidente, você já me salvou várias vezes. Conta comigo aí, desde que não seja algo que vai me colocar em crenca, Ellen. Tô com uma família, totalmente low profile agora, você sabe, né? 
Mas me explica aí melhor, o que, que você está querendo executar? Oh, eu não sei, o negócio que eu vou rodar, é um, ele é um buffer overflow, pelo que eu, pelo que eu dei uma olhada ali, mas eu, eu não vi muito detalhe não, só que é o seguinte, é um spot pronto, é só pegar e rodar, então não, não tem muito mistério uma vez que a gente está dentro, sabe? Hum. Tá, olha só, eu estava eu tava funcionando lá na rede deles, além do site corporativo, eu só achei isso aqui, ó. Hum. Deixa eu ver aqui. <risos> Confluence? Ah, ah, tu conhece então? Oh my gosh. Dá pra fazer alguma coisa com isso aqui? Olha, se eu não me engano, eu vi uns caras falando agora há pouco sobre alguma, algumas brincadeiras com Confluence aí no RC. Wait, is, is this the Confluence from Peraí, deixa eu vou pegar aqui com a galera e já te pingo de volta. Oi, wow. Leon, se liga, tá aí, ó. Eu preparei um container com umas ferramentas especiais legalzinhas demais pra gente brincar, certo? Roda aí, chama-se Attack. Ó, no exploit você precisa estar lá junto, tá vendo aí, ó, manda lá, cve.girofotos.confluence.py Ó, não esquece dos parâmetros aí de, de URL e CMD, coloca aí um dash dash da vida e é sucesso. Tá, tá, mas peraí, o, o, como é que esse negócio funciona? O, o, o que é essa parada aqui? Ó, é simples, o que acontece aqui é o seguinte, ele vai pegar, vai fazer um encode lá no comando e vai mandar essa parada com bug lá pra frente, certo? E aí o que a gente tem que fazer é somente executar isso daí, ó, bim. Ah, tá, ok, tá. Então vamos começar com, com o Romai pra, pra ver o que que tá rolando aqui? Mas peraí, deixa eu ver aqui, não é root? Hum, tá no que rodando? Ah, a gente tá onde, ué? Room. Não sei, vou botar uma ainda aqui pra ver. Oh. Hi, um, Tabitha, uh, just so you know, I got this, uh, I'm in, okay, we got a thing going here, the question yeah, for you is, we have this thing that can only do like single commands at a time, mm -hmm. I don't think we can run uh, Ritsuko's kill search exploit with this, so can you at least help me with this? I mean, yeah, of, of course I can help you with this, like... Not every vulnerability has an exploit that's super convenient to use, but like, put malware on the thing and give yourself whatever, you know, whatever quality of life things that you need. I don't think you even need anything fancy. Just like, normal pen testing tools are probably going to be good enough. Tá, meu, olha só, é, que, que já foi isso que ela falou que eu não entendi nada do que tá rolando aqui. Ô, ele relaxa, mano, ela tem total razão, tá ligado? A gente yeah, precisa muito mais coisa around. nessa brincadeira, tá ligado? Mas eu já preparei aqui, o container tá tudo lá que nós vamos precisar, tem Max Exploit, mano, tá redondinho. A primeira coisa que a gente tem que fazer é o seguinte, a gente tem que iniciar essa bagaça, certo? Então vamos lá, ó, pega aí, tem um script chamado meterpret-setup.sh, tá vendo aí? Tá bom, e, e o que que é isso? Calma aí, se acalma por enquanto, calma aí. Vai lá, abre aí o MetaExploit console, por favor. <risos> Ó, oh, certo, Eli. Agora, pro exploit, a gente vai usar uma ferramenta que chama-se uh, Exploit Multi Handler, beleza? Tá, peraí que eu tô botando aqui. A gente tem que ter uma shell reversa lá nessa parada. Então, manda um set payload Linux x64 e intérprete reverse TCP. Ó, oh, agora faz o seguinte, Eli. Dá um Ctrl Z aí, rapidão. Isso. Ó, oh, bom, como eu uso essa parada há bastante tempo, faz o seguinte aí pra ajudar. Vai lá pra cima, dá um scroll pra cima aí rapidão, beleza? Isso. Pega o um comando aí, taca no exploit lá do começo. Ok, tô botando aqui, mas o que é esse, né? esse negócio muito louco aqui? É o nosso shell. Ah, ok. Uh, Alright, Abby, we, we got what you said. Uh, what now? What? You're in! Like, congratulations, you win the game. Do the thing that you want to do. Look around the system. Figure out the situation, escalate to root, and run the exploit code. This thing's running on Kubernetes. I'm sure you can figure out a way to be able to, to, be able to run something. Oh, oh, it's a Kubernetes system. I know this. Um, Jefferson, Jefferson, é, é Kubernetes? É, como é que eu bato o kubectl aqui dentro? Mano, isso é suave. Digita aí, ó. Upload espaço kubectl TLT, mano. Não, tá. Então fechou. Agora, agora fica tranquilo que agora eu sei. Tá. Então a gente começa aqui no kubectl uh, off can I pra ver o que, que eu posso fazer aqui. E o que, que a gente tá podendo aí, o A gente tá, tá tipo, remain, cheio dos poderes? Deixa eu ver, peraí. Uh, deixa eu testar aqui. Pods, um, pods, namespace, confluence. Hum... Secrets? 
Putz, a gente não tá podendo é coisa nenhuma aí, Eric. Eu tô vendo que eu vou ter que te ajudar de novo, certo? Mas não esqueça, Eric, que eu não posso fazer nada que vai me colocar em muita fria. Eu tenho um parque de diversões esse final de semana. Ó, <risos> oh, bicho, assim, eu não ia estar pedindo ajuda se eu, se eu tivesse escolha, sabe? Ai, meu Deus. Ô, oh, oh, Eric, é, qual que é o kernel que a gente tá, tá falando? Qual que é o kernel que tá rodando lá, você sabe? Pelo jeito aqui é 58048. Tem como você repetir qual que é o kernel, que agora deu uma computação de leve aqui. 58048. Sensacional, muito bom, muito bom. Tá, é o seguinte, ó. Acabei de botar umas paradas no container aqui, eu acho que agora vai ser sucesso. Dá um upload aí, 22555. Tá, mas 2255, o que, que é esse negócio? Bem, esse cara aqui é o seguinte, é um exploit para um bug aí do protocolo de rede, meio obscuro, meio obscuro aí do nosso querido kernel, certo? Vai lá no Confluence e executa essa parada. Tá, é, é, tá bom, mas, mas tá falando aqui, hum. unshare, close, new user, operation, not permitted. Eita, pô, que nada. Cara, eu acho que a gente vai ter que, a gente vai ter que dar um jeito de ver a, as configurações desse container que a gente tá dentro, né? Porque... Tá, tá estranho esse negócio? Ó, oh, é... Usa o MI Containerd. Tá bom. É, peraí, deixa eu fazer aqui. Ok, falou... 69 blocked syscalls. Não, 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 não. Os caras não estão brincando, certo? Eles sabem o que eles estão fazendo, isso aí é perigoso pra caramba. Eu falei pra você, mano, eu tenho o meu pai que lá pra ir com as crianças no final de semana, eu não posso me meter em confusão agora. Faz o seguinte, lima tudo que tá aí, remove, apaga tudo, pega suas coisas, coloca no micro-ondas e vaza daí, vaza, vaza. Tchau, não, não dá pra te ajudar mais com isso daí, mais uma vez, toma cuidado, tchau. Failed. I'm look. I'm I'm trying not to like. I know you're under a lot of pressure right now, but like, you could have checked out what was going on before you went and just tried to run some some exploits. Like their cluster is, looks like it's really well configured and managed. I'm surprised they even needed a kernel update. But you know, I guess just patch is actually a lot harder than it sounds, even for the heptagon and sky cloud. Okay, and what did I do wrong? You should have checked out the situation more thoroughly. Like, sure, their kernel was vulnerable, but you got totally iced out anyway. Like, that kernel bug needs CapNet admin to be able to trigger it, which you don't have. Fortunately, a lot of mainstream Linux distros allow unprivileged users to spawn user namespaces, and you can get CapNet admin within your user namespace. Great, so now all of that kernel attack surface is available to you. But there's an alpha feature in Kubernetes 1.22 called SecComp Default. If you enable the feature gate in the kubelet and then set the kubelet config that turns it on, then it takes advantage of some really good seccomp filtering that Jesse Frizzell and some other fabulous hackers did years ago. Like, it blocks a few really weird syscalls that normal applications have no business calling anyway, like unshare, which is what you need to be able to spawn a user namespace. And so most applications can just run under it, but also, it can sometimes shut down attacks, like yours. Oh, mm, okay, so do I need to find like a different vulnerability that doesn't need that, that syscall? I mean, that's a thing you could do, but like, it may not be that easy. Did you notice you didn't have any good Linux capabilities in your bounding set when you looked at MI Contain? They've got their workloads pretty locked down. Like. If they're using really up-to-date things, like they may have turned on pod security admission. That's another alpha feature from 1.22. And it looks like they were ready to try it as soon as it was available. So like if they're doing that to enforce policy about what kinds of dangerous pod features can be used in what namespaces, like you may struggle to find a pod that has enough permissions to do anything dangerous. So like you can keep plugging away at it and try and find another bug, but can you do it before they catch you? Hmm. So, what can I do? 
I mean, it really doesn't seem like you're going to be able to pound the front door down like this. They're really well prepared for direct attacks. So I think you're going to need to attack them indirectly. Just Try the usual things. You know, fish a developer, commit some malicious code into their test suite, wait for the CI/CD system to run the test code. Easy. Just commit some malicious code. <laughs> Hello. Hello yourself. L. Oh, hi. What's up? So, remember when we did this thing that time? Ooh, do I get to get you out of trouble again? Like old times? Well, yeah, like old times. So here's the deal. Yeah, and then she told me to fish a developer, basically. <sighs> I can't believe you're dragging me into this again. OK, do you know who works at the company? Um, I do not. Check LinkedIn. OK. OK. CEO, HR, mm, that guy Gandalf looks interesting. Who's he? Checking. Oh my god, cat, check this out. OG hacker, one of the last real hackers. And then he shares a link to a retrospective on the glory days of something, something. Like that. Uh, sounds just like you used to. So I bet his whole networking setup is just like the good old days too, if you know what I mean. Tabby, uh, so we, we got this guy, I, I found him on IRC, uh, this, is, uh, this is where his connection is coming from. I'm, I am mapped it and this is what it gave me. Do you know anything about this? Wait, wait, what? Is, is that OpenSSH 2.3? This is hilarious! That, oh my gosh, so there was this protocol vulnerability in, in SSH1 where the, the checksum that was being used was not strong enough, so like you could cause collisions and decrypt the encrypted traffic. Like, cool, great, like that was dangerous and a lot of people caused a lot of trouble. So the developers put some code into the daemon that would detect when that attack was being performed against the server and like shut it down. But you know how these things go. The attack detection code also had vulnerabilities in it. Oh my gosh, everybody was like hacking servers all day long with that thing back in the day. <sighs> found it. I think I found something. What do you make of this? Attacks against OpenSSH, security incidents, mailing air crimes. Okay, um, OpenSSH 2.2 point something. The CRC exploit, I think this is what Abby said. This should do the trick now. If only we could get our hands on this puppy. Wait, hold up. Team Tiso, 2001. That's... Didn't you get a whole stash of exploits from back then? From that friend of yours, What's-Her-Face? Oh yeah, you're right, Lex Murphy, the sister, you're right. <laughs> Give me a minute. the write-up, dummy. Right, the write-up. This is not your exploit. Oh, gosh. I think it's working. Oh. Yes. Look at that. Yes. yes. Just a couple times. <laughs> OK, let me, let me get into their code. Um, what's this? Uh, Finn doesn't work here. Um, <sighs> Just be a good girl and do as I say. <laughs> Script slash dev slash null. Control Z. Now STTY size, STTY raw dash echo. Type FG and press enter. Um, I can't see anything. Press enter. Oh, this is okay. so good. Now STTY rows 33, columns 102. You're welcome. Okay, so did this... Oh, it did, cool. 
Um, Tabby, we're in. What do we do next? What do you do next? You have access to their source code on the, on the developer's home network. Like, I don't know why they're letting him do that, but like, good for us, right? Stick the kill switch into the test suite, let the build server run it, and like, live free another day. What? Just do it. So this will make their tests run the Tsukis uh, binary, mm, which they do. And unsign commit. Oh, uh, whatever. Oh goodness. Okay. No, so stop. Looks stop. like that's it. Um, now how do we check this? How do we how do we know if this worked? I don't know. Check his email. Okay, good idea. Um, and of course, his favorite email client is. Okay, so I guess now we just sit and wait, huh? Um, in the meantime, Tabby, um, can you tell me how this exploit actually works? A, a little bit. So, like, the main failsafe for the SkyCloud system was that all seven delegates of the Heptagon network needed to be present to start it up. Once it's started, it can lose nodes and keep running, but if it's shut completely down, they have to restart it together. And there's only one node left. Okay, but who even are these people? This, this is so strange. Oh, you, you don't even know who they all are, Alan. There, there was the Pentagon, there was like a couple of other countries, Antarctica, the moon, and like nobody's really sure who the last two delegates were. Like, I'm, I'm not actually convinced that they were human. Okay, looks like we got mail. Kat, listen to this. Um, your commit something, something has failed to build due to error in valid commit signature, potential tempering detected, countermeasures active. Of course. Kat, this is, this is not good. No, it's not. Uh, what's your escape plan? There's... Because real talk, you might be in actual trouble. Maybe I can... There's no escape plan. I... I'll try something else. I'll figure something out. But, but Kat, you... Al. Kat, if... Al! If I get you in trouble again, I... Shut up! <laughs> no, I'll tell you when I'm out. Let's keep going. Are you sure? Let's keep going. Tabby, um, things went wrong. What else can we do? Yeah, I mean, of course things went wrong. Nobody enforces it's mandatory man. commit signing just because it's fun. They're doing it in order to secure their software. So, like, with their system set up to have signatures on commits validated in the build system, anything like what you're trying to do is going to be a dead end unless you can get access to the developer's private keys. So, like, I think you're kind of stuck on this. Go after the other end. Go after delivery. Like, if you can push a malicious container into their repository and then overwrite existing tags for containers that they're using, then, like, the next time a pod dies or they scale up or something like that, like, they won't even know the difference. They'll just slurp down your new container, think it's the old one, and run it. And then you win. Okay, so I was looking around and I, I think we got a good candidate. Let's try hijacking the images for this uh, database maintenance operator. What the hell build system is this? I don't think it's a build system. It looks more like a development environment as code kind of a thing. So it looks like here's where it makes the call to create the images and here's the actual image it generates. Okay, let's start this thing up. Oh, wow, this is cool. So easy even your attacker can figure it out, huh? Huh, yeah, well, <laughs> at least I can. Um, okay, let me add um, the Ritsuko's um, code in here. Okay, yeah. yeah. Let's do that, build that thing. Okay, looks like we're done here. Before I ship this, Tabby, what did I do wrong this time? I mean, for once, I think you got it right. Like, you tested your changes locally, so you know the container will work when they run it. 
push it in there. Like, congratulations, you're learning. Cat, um, so we got to do the DevOpsy stuff now. Um, how do I do the, you know, the image switcheroo thing? So what you got to do is overwrite the image tag. Right. First, get the ID of the image that tool just built for you with Docker images. Then tag it with the same name, but with the remote registry. Okay. Do it with Docker tag, the image ID, then the remote registry slash the image name. Right. Yep. Now check it with Docker images. Good. And off we go. Docker push remote registry slash tag. And work. there you go. You did Just it. Do it. Okay, Hannah, how do I check? Um, how do I see if the thing. Check their observability dash. Look for any logs from DB maintenance and see if it ran. Okay, so Datadog logs uh, DB maintenance. Yeah, this is what we wanted. Um, oh, well, yeah. Keep control of energy logs for DB maintenance sync. Sync failed with admission webhook, oh, container oh, failed, no. signature validation, potential tempering. Oh, sh countermeasures activated. Oh, oh. Can I actually think this is when you tell me you're around? Yeah. I'm sorry it didn't work. Yeah. Um, Cat, delete out. All logs, delete our pictures, delete like, hell, I don't know, mixtapes, um, everything. It's, it's safer for you if, if we never mind. L? Yeah? I hope you get out of this okay. Me too. Tabby, what can we do next time? I'm out of ideas. Surpriz! Komariacki, co to jest? Ja zajmę to. Ja nie lubię być winnym. No i? Co ma mają być dostatnie? Co samie? Maszyna szybko wyjechała z oddziałania policji Abschnit 52. Zaraz przyjechała po Zmarindam, u góry po Bundesz Trasy 96. W serenie 12.07. Ich nawigator należał na twoją adresę. U tebe jest 7 chwilin. Hmm. Ci prawie, mój pieci. Dziękuję. O, o my gosh, I'm, 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 I'm so sorry. Their, their defense is really cutting edge. There's so much work going on right now around ensuring Kubernetes clusters only run trusted images, like. I was just at KubeCon and like, I swear half the talks are about software supply chain security. Like, people <laughs> really are thinking about this. Like, for example, there's an admission controller called Connoisseur that can check container image signatures before it, run, before it lets them run. Um, projects like SigStore, Tough, and Intoto are making it easier than ever to like, ship things that are signed so that they are validated. Some organizations are building on this work with like even more sophisticated private tools that maybe we'll see get open sourced someday. Of course, the Haptagon has integrated custom container image verification into their Kubernetes clusters. Like, you're just caught. I don't think there's anything else we can do unless you could like send yourself back in time before they were so well defended. Like, I'm sorry. I'm. I don't know what I can do to help you. Hi, Tabby. Uh, I'm sorry. It's it's been a few weeks since we last talked. Anyway, uh, meet Lucas. Hello, for Sable. Um, Lucas, can you uh, Tabby from the review? Erzähl him. Yeah, between August 86 and March 87, sind gleich fünf Computerwissenschaftler auf ungewöhnliche Art und Weise gestorben, während sie Forschung für das britische Defense Ministry gemacht haben. Sie waren damals mit fortgeschrittener Computersoftware und Signal Gearbeitung beschäftigt. Korrekt. Kurz gesagt, das Stück Silizium ist damals über einige ungewöhnliche physische Eigenschaften gestolpert und das wurde dann als 6830 veröffentlicht. Ich habe einen hier. Verstehst du die Ausführung einer ganz unauffälligen Abfolge von Opcodes erzeugt ein Feld? Ein Feld? Ist 
Ja. Ist das das Feld, das, das du erwähnt hast, dass die toten Wissenschaftler zu nutzen nennen und die, die Behalte der Physik der Zeit zu gehen? Ganz genau. Ah. Für einige angesehene Gelehrte wie mich war das natürlich nie ein Geheimnis. <lacht> Denn das eigentliche Geheimnis ist doch, wie lautet die genaue Obkonsequenz, um das Feld zu erzeugen? Und auch ja, genau, das ist, dass das diese Obkur kurz veröffentlicht wurde. Mitten in einem Gedichtband. Und dabei ist der Code ja <lacht> völlig unbemerkt <lacht> <unbemerkt. lacht> geblieben. Oh, das heißt ja. Ja. Uh, I, I was just joking about the time travel thing, but like, cool, let's do it. Die Menschen ist alles bereit. Okay. Schau mal weg. Schau mal weg. Ich schreibe jetzt hier eine Zahl hin. Was ist das? Nur ein zukünftiges Ich würde die Zahl kennen. Oh. their legacy code that's still running even though it was written back in like 1997 uh, maybe you would be able to get those changes in well before any of this focus on security started happening and maybe today their defense wouldn't be able to save them um, I don't know if that's a thing you can do though The math took a little bit to figure out. We did it, and by we I mean Lucas did all the work. So, um, kannst du bitte? Ja, die Zeit ist ein Selbstheilungsmechanismus. Die kurzfristigen Dinge sind elastisch, aber je stärker die Verzerrung, desto härter fällt die Korrektur aus. Was verstehst du heute vom Tod? Den Tod. So gewisse Ausrüstung schreibt keinen Code, wenn Leute damals nicht geschrieben hätten, so etwas in der Art. Ja, genau. Bleib so kurz wie möglich dort. Sprich mit niemandem. Okay. Dann können wir dich vielleicht unverletzt zurückholen. Okay. Oh, well, Tabi, so it's gonna be tricky, but there is a chance. Good, good luck, Alan. I'm gonna go make some calls. Uh, I need to go call myself in the beginning of this whole story, even. So see you in 1997, and hopefully I can. Uh, so I can make it back. Also dieses Raster stellt den regulären Fluss der Zeit dar. Und das ist das Feld, was wir erzeugen. Und diese Wellen sind die Verzerrung, die wir in die Zeit einführen. Hier ist die Speicheranbindung, die das Phänomen verursacht. Oh. Und hier ist, wo der Wachoroflow passiert. Ah. They're really in 1997. Here I am, it's 1997, and uh, yeah, I'm ready. I, I, I can't believe it. Um, wait, wait, I'm worried they might somehow find this bug in the, like, 25 years between then and now. What if you made the kill switch mechanism only appear for a couple of minutes, like during KubeCon? Oh, it can only appear for two minutes. Yeah, that's, that's a good idea. Okay, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, we shouldn't do that, though, because, like, the schedule can be weird, and, like, what if my talk runs over and we don't have the timing right? Oh, I don't know. You probably shouldn't. Tabby, I am literally streaming to your exact time right now. I know what time it is. Okay, if you're, if you're sure. I'm gonna hang up for good now. I'm gonna do the hack. You're gonna have those two minutes to get in there. After that, I'm gonna have to lay low for a while. You're gonna know if I made it out okay or not by, um, I don't know, check my Twitter. <laughs> See you back in the future, or maybe not.
Goodbye. I guess I'm going to start by connecting to their network and downloading their repo. So here they are. What can we do here? Let's see. Source code libraries. Login. Yeah, okay, this is what I want. Let me use these libraries. So I'm going to fill the buffer that Ritsuke had talked about here. Filling hash type with a large pile of garbage. And okay. If this crashes, it's going to crash SkyCloud. Let's see. And I'm back to the future. Like, real talk, I don't actually know what time it is, but I know we were right up to the lunch break. So, like, can we do questions? Do we have questions? Yeah, I, I guess we won't have official questions, but, like, I'll be happy to put my mask on and, and talk to folks. Thank you all again so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you.